Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hamish, again. Honestly, can't stay, stop making videos about Jarvis. This video is gonna be how to write niche specific articles about niches that you don't necessarily know a lot of information about. The kind of point of this video is to show you that you need to direct Jarvis to create the niche specific content that you're looking for. This was inspired by a post that I saw where someone said instead of writing um, family lawyer, you should write family lawyer Australia when you're giving directions to Jarvis. I tried to find the post, but I, I couldn't find it, but thank you to whoever made that post. And then also the Jarvis boot camp, which if you haven't done yet and you're saying things like, Jarvis doesn't work properly or anything like that. You need to do the boot camp. It's really, really good for understanding how to create the content that you want to create using Jarvis. So yeah, this video is gonna be like how to direct Jarvis to create very specific niche content that maybe you thought it couldn't make before, just by giving it very clear instructions and because it's read, I think it's, I think it's 20% of the internet, most of the information that you need will already be in Jarvis. Most, not all, but most. Okay, enough of me talking. Let's get into it. Okay, so welcome back to my channel. This video is gonna be how to write a blog post about something specific that requires specific knowledge. The key to Jarvis is that he probably, or it probably already has this knowledge. So let's just generate, I've already generated. Um, this is how to sell your home for cash, okay? But the problem with this sentence, is, uh, these sentences, these uh, generations, is that they're not about the right thing because uh, we want specific information. So if, um, we want it to be uh, for a US investor buying a house with cash. To buying a house with cash. Okay, so let's generate again, and this time it should be a little bit more specific, although to be honest with you, most of these would probably do anyway. Okay, here we go, see what I mean? This is much more specific. Let's say, uh, yeah, this is how to sell your home for cash. Okay, and nice. Okay, so um, heading number one should be uh, how to find a buyer who will pay cash. Let's see what Jarvis comes out with. Yeah, okay, so this is, I was just watching the um, boot camp. And if you run into this problem, what you need to do is you need to change this to this. And you need to change this to write a paragraph about how to find a, a cash buyer for your house without an, uh, a realtor. Okay, so this should give us much more specific information. I'm gonna copy this in case it spits out nonsense and I wanna do something else. So uh, if you want to sell, control J. If you're enjoying what you're seeing so far and you want to give Jarvis a try, you can go to the description if you want to support my channel. There's an affiliate link. You get 10,000 free words to give this tool a try for five days. And if you don't like it, you lose nothing. You see, this is what I'm talking about. This, this is, I didn't know this. Like I wouldn't have been able to write this. That's actually so insane. Jarvis is blowing my mind. The more I do of the boot camp, the more I understand. I know that kind of seems obvious, but I think a lot of us, we think, oh yeah, I, I can do this tool. I don't need to learn anything about it, but it, it you really do. Um, and I can see how you can shape an article much more easily uh, for specific niches using this method. So, um, why would someone sell their home for cash? Write a paragraph about what, uh, why people, uh, about five reasons why people sell their home for cash instead of, um, 
using a realtor. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, we can copy this again. I'm still getting used to this as well, guys. You can probably tell. But like as I'm learning, I've I've kind of decided to help other people learn as well. So uh, the five reasons, and then Control J, and I'm guessing. Okay, that's complete trash. Uh, uh, is that? Is that? Okay, so let's try this method. Uh, they don't want to lose money. Control J. They should put points. There we go. You see, you we are the we are the creators of the content still. If you saw before, like it was absolute nonsense it was talking about. Because I didn't tell Jarvis what I wanted. But this time I told Jarvis what I wanted. I created the first bullet point and then look at that. That's so much better. Um, do you save money when you sell your home for cash? Write a paragraph about whether you save money when you sell your home for cash. Copy this again. Let's see. I'm just. I. I really want to know if Jarvis will come out with anything good here. Okay. So let's direct Jarvis a little bit more. So uh, you save money when you sell your home for cash because I don't know the reasons. So let's see what Jarvis spits out. Perfect. Oh, wasn't finished. Sorry, Jarvis. Okay, perfect. Yeah, that looks a lot better. I'm much happier with that. In addition to saving money when you sell the house, you also... I can kind of guess where Jarvis was going with that. Save on packing. Nobody likes the year of... Wow. I really like the long-form output. Um... Yeah, this is absolutely insane. Honestly, I can't believe how good this is. Um, so I guess the main takeaway from this is that you have to be constantly changing the title and the content um, to make sure that we are getting... Each generation takes information from here and takes information from here and takes information from here. So we can create uh, a very specific article about something that we don't necessarily know a lot about and we can use these three uh, columns to direct Jarvis. Then we also have to write sometimes here to direct Jarvis as well. A really, really good thing to do alongside this would be to have a uh, Google screen open here and obviously doing keyword research at the same time and constantly changing the keywords will mean that you can rank for more relevant keywords as well. Okay, I uh, really hope this helps you out guys and yeah, um, I'm going to keep using Jarvis, I'm going to keep making videos as long as people keep enjoying them and finding them useful. I will see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.